Welcome guys. So today we got some delivered at the Beginners Barbecue Headquarters. I'm excited because especially football season is coming and this is going to be great for tailgating. My name is RJ and this is Beginners Barbecue Outdoors. All right, guys, so here you have it. We have the Z Grill portable pellet grill. Uh, it has great reviews, and they sent me one because they know I love football, and they said, hey, this is something you can really use for the football season that's coming up, and I was like, you know what, guys? I think you're right. So let's go ahead and open this box and see what comes in it. All right, let's go ahead and cut it. I'm excited for this grill. Oh yeah. One of the great things that when you order a grill a, a pellet smoker from Z Grills, they always add gloves for you to use so you don't get your hands dirty. So it's a nice little touch. You know, it's not much, you know, like, oh, God. But it's a nice little touch that they thinking of you guys. All right, so here we have a simple, how they put it, a simple installation instruction of the 200A portable pellet grill. So, not much. Only three steps. Three steps to get this bad boy ready to roll. Man, it's a nice all black grill. It's nice. So right here we got plug in and then now let's just take this grill out of there. So let's see how heavy is this. You can carry it in one hand. I just can't hold it because of the wrapper. So that's always one of the biggest thing is how heavy is it? Um, the other pellet grill, the other portable pellet grill that I had or uh, that I was using was over 50 pounds. Pretty heavy. So there it is. Let's open it up. And there's all the stuff we need. Just take this box out. Very nice. We need to turn it around so we can put the legs on. It's not heavy, so I like that a lot. A little tiny drip pan. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Here's the stuff for the lid, the handle, the side handles, and here are the legs in this little box. Found them. Um, they're in the in the pellet hopper. I didn't even check there. There they are. Back to continue program. All right, so here we have it. They give you everything you need. Here's the manual. Initial fire instructions. All right, pretty simple. Just gonna set it in there. Grab a screw. Let's 
screw it in there. That easy. Really easy, guys. Really easy. When we do the rest, we'll be back. All right, legs. Easy. Okay. Now we turn it back. Back around. I'm going to face it towards me, the front part. Now we put our handles. Now we're just going to put them in there. And screw them in. Make sure those uh, mica plates, whatever they call them, are flush. Because they'll move. And we'll do the same on the other one. Same thing on the other side. We'll be back. All right, guys. Now that we have the sides, we're going to go ahead and do the front handle. Should be pretty easy. Front handle, just this guy right here. Nice little chrome. The washers go with these inside. And that's it. That was easy. I looked at the instructions maybe twice, but that was really easy. And then so you guys know, I forgot this step because I didn't see them. Of course, right now I'm like, whoa, what are these? But I kind of figured. These little things, there's four of them, go on the legs. So I'll go ahead and put those. All right, guys, now easy part is to put this stuff back. Uh, the heat guard. But uh, first, before we do that, just like any other grill, we have to make sure the hot rod is working. So you guys know the process. Let's go ahead and do that first. All right, now that we have it plugged in, let's go ahead and put it on smoke setting and wait a, a minute or two to see if that hot rod starts to turn red. We also, we're gonna feel to see the fans working. So this is when we do all that before we put the pallets in there. Go ahead and do this. Okay, turn it on smoke. So we can see the auger turning. I feel smoke, uh, I feel the air of the fan coming, it's working. So everything so far works. Then after a little bit, you start to smell the hot rod on, uh, burning off whatever it has, all the oil, stuff like that. You start to smell that. So that's a good sign that your hot rod is working. So now we just gotta wait till we see that hot rod turn a little bit of red and we turn it off and put our pellets in here. Now we're seeing a little bit of smoke uh, pretty much coming from the hot rod. So this process, this process is really good because if you don't do this and you start to add your pellets and you start to do it, uh, your pellets start running, there's a small chance and I haven't experienced it, it could happen where your hot rod doesn't work. So now you're gonna have to take all those pellets out, clean it in there and try to figure out how to get that hot rod to work. Sometimes you might need to get replaced. Uh, so to make sure all that doesn't happen, all that work for nothing is this step is, is really important because right now all you're doing is you're making sure your auger is spinning and your hot rod is heating up. All right guys, so our hot rod, you can see it, it's turning red from the heat. The auger is spinning. So now we're good to turn it off, add our pellets in here and everything else. So let's go ahead and do that. When you turn it off, it normally takes about 10 minutes with the fan on, uh, that just to get any stuff in there, out of there. Uh, but pretty much the turn off cycle takes about 10 minutes. So while that's going on, we're going to put everything in here or with, with our pellets. And by the time we get all that done, this should be ready to crank it up again. This part, I am going to use these gloves that Z Grills provides to you because it's a little messy uh, adding the heat guard because it's full of oil. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put that. much it's going to be a process to get this pretty much the first initial getting to the initial start the firing the burn off it's going to be a process 
All right, so the next step that they're telling you to do now, once it shuts off and everything's in there, the pellets, the grill, the, the heat shield, the heat guard, whatever you want to call them, is go ahead and turn it all the way to high. And we're doing that is because on the auger, there's no pellets. So with getting it high, it, it runs the auger now fast. So now it's going to start getting the pellets and it'll move the pellets to where it needs to go a lot faster than having it in smoke. Steady. We'll be back when we start seeing fire. Now that I see that the pellets are dropping, uh, I lift it up. I saw the pellets are dropping. The hot rod is hot. So we can go ahead and shut her down. Okay, once it shuts down, we're going to now start the burn off. It's going to take 45 minutes total. So what's going to happen is we're going to put it on smoke steady. If you're new to pellet grills, always put it on smoke steady. But the majority of all the pellets, pellet grills, you always start it on smoke setting before you put it on whatever temperature you want. So that's what we're doing. We're going to put it, once it shuts off, we're going to put it on smoke setting. And then once we start seeing all that smoke coming up, then we're going to close the lid and crank it all the way to high and leave it like that for 45 minutes. Now they call it a burn off because they want you to do that so you can burn all the oils and whatever stuff's in there from the warehouse uh, right before you, so you do that before you cook. So always remember that is very important to do on a brand new pellet grill. So let's go ahead and wait till this turns off and start the last process of this setup. All right guys, we have arrived, it's 45 minutes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut it down open the lid and then wait 10 minutes, wait the 10 minutes to shut down. And then you, now you're ready to use this bad boy for whatever you guys want to use it for tailgating, especially tailgating because football season's coming. This is a perfect grill to take with you. So I'm going to start doing tailgating foods on this stuff. So I'm going to start showing you stuff that you can take to a tailgate. So Probably what I'm going to do, I'm going to start something simple for the first cook, like I always like to do it. So we're probably going to be doing some dogs or some on the next video. Because uh, I know dogs, hot dogs, are probably one of the best things to take to tailgate. So this is it for this video. So far, love this grill. It's solid. Uh, it's made to last. It's not heavy. So that's one of the biggest perks that it's not heavy. So make sure you guys get that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and we'll see you guys next time.